Well, the weather changed over last night, so perfect time to start thinking about getting on the ice for some hockey. That's right, the Greenville Swamp Rabbits return in October. We got a fun fan fest mm -hmm. at the beginning of the month. Tyler Sanford is here to talk all about it. He is the vice president of Swamp Rabbits. How's it going? Doing well. You know, we're 29 days away from our opening night, so we are very excited. And you guys so. planned the weather switch perfectly. I yes. know, right? We put in that request, so <laughs> we got it done. And they're like, but. we're ready. It's now hockey, hockey season. That's right. So I know you guys do so much work to get ready for, for this. You're getting ready for a big fan fest. Uh, what is that going to entail? And you're going to hopefully bring in some new new fans. You guys oh, have yeah. plenty of fans already, but to bring in some new people to the to the arena. Absolutely, we love to kick off the start of the hockey season. So for us, Fan Fest is coming up here next Saturday, and so that is going to be open to the public, presented by the Blood Connection. We're going to have our magnet schedules with the entire schedule for the year. All of our great promotional night information will be on there, and you can also donate blood while you're there. See, make it a win-win. I'm excited to hear about how it came about. You're now like affiliated with the LA Kings. That's kind of a big deal. Absolutely. So it's been such a great relationship working with them um, in their entire process, the LA Kings, the Ontario Reign. So we're going to see some real pro talent here in Greenville for this season. So we are very excited to work with them. Like, what does that mean to the average fan that may not know the, all the ins and outs and history of hockey? Like, you know, why should the average person here care about that? Oh, well, it's, it's awesome to have a multi-year relationship. So we're going to have a lot of these top players coming down here in Greenville that we might see in the NHL one day. Wow. So they're going to get their start here and obviously they do fall in love with Greenville like we all do. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to be introducing that as well as some of our new jerseys for this year. Ooh. on Fan Fest we next love, Saturday. We love some swag. We love some new swag. Oh, yeah. We love all so for, someone swag. <laughs> for someone who's never been to a, a game, like what do you, what, what do you have in store for them? I know you guys do theme nights and the really fun nights. Absolutely. So SwampRabbits.com is where we have all of our information, but we are doing everything from our military appreciation night, first responders night, everything down into a Marvel Avengers night. Oh. We're actually wearing Avengers jerseys. So Check out the website. We have all of the information on there. But Fan Fest next Saturday, we'll have all of that for you. And how did last season go? Because I know it was, you know, it was down to the wire with. So right in the last game of the regular season, we clinched the playoffs. So for two years in a row now, we've made the playoffs here with our head coach, Andrew Lord. So we are excited to get back on the ice and hopefully bring home the cup here to Greenville. And yes. Keep that momentum going. Uh, absolutely. And I love the atmosphere of the games, too. We, yes. It's that one time where you can just kind of let it all out. You can bang on the glass. You can do all the crazy <laughs> things. Bring all the energy you can. The team loves it. Everyone loves when you're out there. And, you know, again, for us, hockey season is here. So starting with Fan Fest. And you're doing something cool, too, because for your Carolina viewers, you kind of have like a built-in offer for opening night. You want to tell us about that? Because that's very generous. Yeah, well. so we did a full 25% off tickets there. It also comes with a hot dog, chips, and a soda voucher just for your Carolina viewers. So that's swamprabbits.com backslash your Carolina. And that's for our opening night, October 22nd. Well, that was very Look kind of you that, guys to do that. Right? Because so you really special. are, I like it how you really are trying to make it a family thing. Like, come Absolutely. out, we got your dinner covered, mm -hmm. you got a fun, you know, drink, see some great, great talent. It's going to be great. So, yeah, we so appreciate you guys. And, again, we just wanted to say thank you for having us. And we are excited to start hockey season. And it's a great inexpensive way to have a lot of fun and support the community yes. and support our team. So I remember one of fantastic. my favorite memories. We have a lot of memories. Remember we used to go <laughs> to a lot of Tuesday night, yes. night games. But Trying to I, walk on the ice. That's the real treat. For everyone us. that comes on, we're like, don't wear your cute shoes. Mm. Wear, wear what you can watch. But my mom took my old, who now is my oldest, but he was probably like three at the time. Oh. And you had this like afternoon game. It was very cool. It was like in the afternoon. This was like, you know, obviously 10 years ago. <laughs> and it was probably the longest game in hockey history. <laughs> like it kept going into overtime. Oh, yeah. We have a couple of those. Our Sunday games are at 3 p.m. So yes. if you're looking for that afternoon game for the family, awesome. come on by. See, it's so fun. I mean, it's just memory. Like we remember that forever. I kept calling and be like, are you still they're like we're still at the hockey game it's, <laughs> it's still going it's still going and we're having a blast so. i'm most excited about the new swag i know. can't wait to see those those mm -hmm. new jerseys oh it's so. gonna be great we'll make sure we get you All guys right. in and get on awesome. some of that but thank, thank you very thank much thank you so yes. much and for offering for the your carolina viewers that's yep. very nice we're excited